Good Monday morning, guys. It is 54 degrees, and it is 6 o'clock in the morning. I was up at 4, but I was searching for Weight Watcher recipes, and so I got a bunch together that I'm going to try this week. Enjoying listening to the loons in the morning doves out yelling this morning, and then I'm going to go in and make some coffee. I have my coffee started for a coffee date today and we usually keep it in here to keep it warm for many hours because we'll talk for hours and hours so I've got my table all set up for us. They should be here in about 10 minutes. So this morning just got done with coffee I'm just making a couple eggs for myself because I don't want to have that many points because I'm not sure exactly which meal we're going to do for dinner tonight. So I have to figure that out yet too. I, I know what we're making all week, but I'm not sure which meal I'm going for tonight. But this is what I'm having for breakfast. So it's going to be just, I got like a half a teaspoon of butter in there and just the two eggs. There are my eggs all done. And that's what my breakfast is this morning. So getting my week meal prepped and ready to go, here is some a sneak peek of three of the meals I will be making this week. And they are all from the Weight Watcher app. So I'm going to try these out to see how we like them. And everything for the week is on my grocery list now. I'm going to put those in my Walmart app and go pick it up tonight. The only thing is, I thought I had one meal that I had everything for, but no, I'm missing at least one item in each meal that I had had um, on my list, so that's fun. So now I have to run to the store before I make my meal, and hopefully I can get a pickup before it's too late. Otherwise, I'll have to plan something else that is Weight Watcher friendly for tonight. Although I've had very little points today so far, so I might be able to go a little bit higher in my points for tonight. We'll see though, but this is what I've got planned so far. I can't pick up until six to seven, so we are just gonna pull a couple chilies from the freezer and we're gonna have chili tonight because I know that's one point. And then that way I get my special coffee today and I'll show you how I make that, it's so good. So while I've been gone for a while, I got a Nespresso. And we have been loving this thing. Well, I more so than the, well, me and Nick have been loving it more so than Corey. When I make an espresso drink, like Starbucks style, I use this one. It's the Charo Double Espresso. And it's just a brown golden pod. And I just put it in there. And of course, you have to wait for that to turn solid. But in the meantime, when I drink a black coffee, this is my favorite one. I think you pronounce it Salilio. I'm not sure, but that is my favorite one. Pretty much that's all the only ones I buy. And then we have the milk frother here. And I normally put some half and half and some 2% milk in here. And I think I'm still gonna do that because the way I make it, it's 13 points. I figured it all out. It's high, but I have high points for now until I start losing. So I'm gonna let, allow myself to enjoy this once in a while. This is ready to go. So what I do is I just put my glass up there and tear out my thing here. And we have been loving the Monin syrups. They're not sugar free, so they are points. And I always measure out 30 grams, sometimes a little less because I don't really need that much, but a serving is 30 grams. It's 100 calories for this. So I just measure out 30 grams. And like I said, sometimes it ends up being, a little, most of the time it ends up being a little less. And then I just put it under there and press the button on top and just wait for it to fill up. While this is brewing here, I'll grab my heavy, my half and half and my 2% milk for here.
and the roundies half and half works the best for this and I always just put it to the bottom of the silver thing there actually usually the silver thing looks covered up but I'm gonna do a little bit less this time and then the 2% milk I put until it just covers the little knob of the black there we go you can just barely see it and then I go ahead and press it once for hot and you hold it in and wait till it turns blue if you want cold foamed milk which is also really good but I want a hot coffee today so this is my that's a double espresso and then all of this milk once it foams up it'll foam up right to the tippity top and then I'm gonna pour that in here and it makes the best coffee I have ever tasted in my lifetime even better than Starbucks in my opinion when Nick makes his he puts the caramel sauce drizzle it over the top it is so delicious but I don't do that anymore I had a couple like that and it was way too good so I stopped because I didn't want to get addicted to it and so when this is done you just lift that up and the little pod just falls back there and then you're supposed to keep this open in between so it dries out a little bit and as soon as this is done you just dump it right into there and then I just go ahead and wash this out right away but it just is perfect for this glass and I'm telling you guys it is so good so good so while I'm drinking my delicious coffee I will show you what else I've been up to is if you couldn't tell by this photo and another thing if you guys haven't been sorry Elena was here yesterday we let her make a mess in here and I haven't picked up anything yet so the gate the reason we have the gate here let me explain that to you because I've been gone a while and uh, I don't think you guys know about unless you're following me on Facebook about our little mystery clips here I know sweetie so if go on go to bed can you show them how you walk so his back leg that one right there the shaved one he, he's had surgery a big big surgery he has torn his ACL in his knee which is very common in this breed so we had to have a very big surgery for him where they cut his bone right there and they moved it from this to that where it's straight you can kind of see him he's still we're seven weeks into um, post-surgery and he's just now getting to the point where he will he's starting to play now which is oh, so good to see you almost dropped that on my toe eclipse it's very good to see because he was limping constantly and so we had a really good surgeon that took care of him in Green Bay and right now where he's got he cannot do stairs so we have a, a potty area set out on our balcony because he can absolutely not do stairs and he can he is not supposed to be walking a lot which is why we have the gate up over there so he has not been too fond of not being able to run outside but you know it's a seven week healing process and like I said we're seven weeks and now I'll post some pictures here of what he looked like after surgery if you are if you don't like wide open cuts please don't look at the pictures just forward through them because they're not they look pretty bad so um, he is healing up nicely he just had his x-ray his post surgical x-ray at seven weeks and he is doing super good and we are so proud of him and he is no longer on sleepy time meds we call them because he is so crazy he just wants to go and go and go so we had to sedate him many times like during the day when he first after he first got home and he had his whole leg cut open here he had to be sedated for many days because he was not able to we could not let him get up and walk on it at all except to go out and go potty and that was it then he had to be laying down so that was a way to get him to calm down and lay down quite a bit so that was his ordeal and that was really fun I'll, I'll share some videos here um, while I'm talking about it so you guys can see how he carried his leg before he went into surgery and that that's the day we actually took him in to get surgery so we had to stay overnight because he had to stay overnight so we stayed in a hotel over there <laughs> But he did awesome 
Um, I felt so bad for him because he was in a lot of pain, of course, but now he's pretty much pain free. Um, he's still on medication. He will be on medication his whole life, but that is part of the breed and they, there's a big chance his other leg will need to be done too. So we're already, we've already got a savings account set up for that because it will most likely happen. We got him all taken care of and he's just a happy boy lately. And he's actually using this leg again where before he was not using it at all. So we felt really bad for him. So, I mean, he's young enough where he's got a many years left and we want him to be as comfortable as possible. So that was that ordeal. And then my next thing is I've gotten many plants in my house because I've been into that and I just put this together yesterday of course I always got clean laundry to fold like normal nothing has changed <laughs> since I've been away this I put together last night with Corey's help and we're gonna put that over here so the plants can get some sun and they don't have to be crowded on that little ledge and possibly tip over but that is Another thing I've been doing, let me show you a little close-up of my plants. This is my favorite one right now. It's an alocasia, and it's so beautiful. I love it. I think it needs some water almost tomorrow. And, of course, I love this little guy, too. An orchid in there. Really pretty one. And then all of these little guys. So many. Got some rooting up here. Just so many of them. And no, this is not dead. This is the actual color of the plant. I thought it was dead too when I got it. But it is the actual color of the plant. And then those ones there. So much fun. So I think while I finish my delicious drink, I'm going to fold up some laundry and start some more. My washer was broken. Corey fixed it yesterday, so now I'm catching up. So I've got like four loads of laundry to do today and tomorrow. Of course, guys. Luna's always still right by my side. She's still there doing her thing. And we also have that, which is Elena's little gate that we usually had her in before she got too big, um, is up on the couch so Eclipse doesn't jump up on the couch because he's not even supposed to be up on the couch. That's how serious they are about how much he's not supposed to be moving around. So I got this all set up. This looks pretty good. I have to get something to set on here though. So these aren't so tippy, I guess. Got a new little bud come in here. This is a baby plant here. But I'm really happy about it. I really like this. And I'm gonna put some lights, some grow lights underneath here because I'm bound to get more plants because I love them, absolutely love them. And this one is like a velvet feeling. It's so soft, and I just got a new leaf that came out like yesterday it opened up. So that, and then there's another one coming here, and another one coming here, and another one coming right there. So it's, it's a happy little guy in here. I use the same soil for everything. It's a really chunky soil mix, and everything seems to really love it. All right, this is lunch. I have Miracle Whip. And I've got two points of that, one tablespoon. This, I have a quarter of an ounce, which is one point. This is the reduced fat, Sargento. This is one point for two ounces. And that's, I got under two ounces on there. And it is the Oscar Mayer Mesquite Smoked. And then I have onions on there, which is zero. And then the wrap, which is one. So that is a total of three, four, five. Five points for this wrap for lunch. And I took out chili for dinner tonight. So I decided to add some lettuce to mine and a little bit of pepper on there. So we got that going on. All right, guys, I'm at my computer here trying to remember how to use my editor. We'll see how that all goes. Should be interesting. I am heading out to get some healthy food pickup right now. 
Corey and I have decided to restart our program now, which I'm really happy about because I've been feeling like garbage lately. We have, of course, gained a bunch of weight back. If you have not been to my channel before, my husband and I both lost well over 100 pounds on our first journey. And this is our second journey around now because we've gained a lot of that weight back. So we are restarting. So I'm unloading my groceries and all of these oranges are so squishy. Like every single one of them mm. is bad. Just bad. So I gotta call Walmart. Ugh. So we are having the bowl of chili. And we got some tricolor chips in there. And all together this is five points I believe it was. Not bad. I'm having a Greek key lime pie yogurt. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -hmm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Stealing smokes from your parents Sometimes we got a bit out of control